amongst the greatest classical composers. This man was one of the first to produce German operas that had lasting appeal and influence. Known for operas such as Abu Hassan and Die Freischwitz, the musical prodigy fulfilled his father's dream, overcame many tragedies, and continued writing through everything. This is Born to be Karl Maria von Weber. Weber was born November 18, 1786, in Uten, Germany, to musician Franz Anton von Weber and singer Genoveva. Because of his family's musical background, Karl was introduced to music at a very young age. My father always wanted me to become a very successful musician. I don't even remember a time when I couldn't sing or play basic tunes on the piano. Impressing his father with his musical achievements was also exceptionally challenging, since his cousin Constance married the musical genius Wolfgang Mozart. He wanted me to become as great as Mozart, but that was very hard to do. Weber spent his early childhood traveling with his father though it was very hard since he was born with congenital disease of the hip joint, also called dyslepsia. Because of it, he could not walk until the age of four. While his father's traveling took a toll on Carl's health and education, it did expose the young composer to the stage at, a, at an early age. From this, he gained experience, which helped him achieve greatness in later years. And he did achieve greatness. With many vocal and piano lessons, he began composing music. I began composing at a young age. I began composing because I was already quite musically inclined, and it pleased my father. At only 14, he was given the libretto of Das Waldmädchen by the theater manager of Freiburg Theater. He quickly put it to music. The performance was described as immature, but a good start for the composer. At 18, he got a job at the Opera House in Breslau as a conductor. After two years, tragedy struck. I found him on the floor unconscious. On the table, I saw two similar looking bottles, one wine and one nitric acid. I knew what had happened. Carl had drank the acid. While he did live, the consequences were severe. Losing my ability to sing was hard. My voice was one of my favorite instruments. obstacles did not stop Weber's compositions. He continued writing successful music and operas such as Abu Hassan. The opera Abu Hassan stars Abu Hassan, the Caliph, Zobidi, who is the Caliph's wife, and Fatima, Abu Hassan's wife. Abu Hassan is a favorite of the Caliph, but is in a lot of debt. He sends his wife Fatima to Zobidi to announce his own death. Through this, she will receive 50 pieces of gold. Fatima returns with the present, but, is, but it is still not enough. So Abu Hassan goes to the caliph to announce his wife's death for another 50 pieces of gold. Abu returns with the gold. The caliph and his wife talk and are confused about what they've been told. The caliph sends his messenger, Messerer, to Abu Hassan's house to see if Fatima really is dead. When he arrives, Abu and Fatima trick him by having Fatima play dead. As he leaves, Zobidi's nurse goes to see if Abu Hassan is really dead. By Abu playing dead. Caliph and his wife are both perplexed and go to see what's going on themselves. At this point, Abu Hassan and his wife throw themselves to the ground as if dead. In confusion, the caliph offers 1,000 pieces of gold to anyone who will tell him which of the two died first. At this comment, Hassan throws himself at the caliph's feet, saying, I died first. He asks for a pardon. They are both pardoned and given the gold. The end.
dumme Frage. Das erfährt man hinter der Ach, wie ist die so bekloppen? So war mir, wie ich entspiel. Hörst du nicht, wofür sie kommen? So wie der Kalif. Und wenn sie kommen, Angst zu sprengen, lernt die Krieger, die mit dem Krieg nicht dieser Not. Hurtig, hurtig, lebt dich wieder. Schon zur Hälfte bin ich tot. Du erwachst die Morgenrot, Bald zu neuem Leben wieder. Hätt ich früher das bedacht. Die Stille, gute Nacht. Gute Nacht, gute Nacht. In 1825, his health began to deteriorate. He composed less, but still conducted a lot. The production of Der Freischwitz he made plans to return home, but died the day before he was to leave. Karl Maria von Weber did not have an easy life, but he still managed to create over 300 compositions. He inspired many musicians in later years. Overall, this was born to be Karl Maria von Weber. The button! You press the button? Okay. Are you still filming? Yep. That's how I roll. I began composing at a young age. <clears throat> I began com- <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but- Just, just be ridiculous. The I whole point- I'm Not retarded. <laughs> I began composing because I was already musically inclined, and in- Crap! <laughs> and in- <laughs> Like walk, pretend you're. I began composing. <laughs> I began composing. Okay. Let's go. Composer. <laughs> 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 This is my angry face. <laughs> Picture Vikings! Bloopers. <laughs> Hit your Vikings! Hit your Vikings! I'm gonna take out this sound, okay? So I'll tell you when it's almost done. What the, what the f are you doing? <laughs> Guys, you I don't care how ridiculous. <laughs> no. Just do stupid shit while leaving your clothes on. Mouth watermelons. Like you're really angry. Angry watermelons, Bridget. Angry watermelons. Will they come to kill you? YouTube. Bye. <laughs>